hello viewers welcome to our channel and today we are going to learn a very basic and simple formula of excel which is VLOOKUP but it's very widely used so I have a template over here you can download this template from our link in the description and follow me along this video so we can do it together we in this template we have one serial number employee ID, name, department, and salary. We are going to use this table to bring the data over here in column H using VLOOKUP function. So I will start this function with equals to sign and we'll type VLOOKUP and press tab. So this VLOOKUP function will ask me for a lookup value, like what I am going to look in this table. And that is my employee ID. So I will select this function, I will press comma, and then I will select this table. Just have notice one thing that I have not selected this whole table, but rather I selected it from the column B, like the second column where the employee IDs are mentioned. Because what we lookup function does is it will see the selected value, the lookup value in the first column of the table, like which you have selected and then we'll give you the corresponding name, department, or salary number based on whatever row you will select. So my third command will be comma. It is asking me column index number. So the table I have selected, which column I want to bring. So if I want a name of this ID over here, I will just mention column number two because name lies in the second column of this table which I have selected, not the whole table, but the one which I have selected. So I will press 2. Now, oh, fun one more thing in VLOOKUP function, that either I want to match it exactly or appropriately. So for the, m what is most widely used is the fixed match or exact match. And for that, you need to put either 0 or false. So putting 0 is much faster than typing false so I will just put 0 over here and we'll close this function and here is your VLOOKUP function so against this 1003 ID I have a name of the Chen. let's suppose I want the department of this one so what I'm going to do is instead of okay so what I have done is I have just selected pressed F2 and it has taken me to the formula again so the department is in column number three. So I've instead of selecting column number two, I'm just going to select column number three and it is going to give me the department of that ID. Okay, now there are a few more things to consider in this formula. But before going to those things, let me just give you a one very basic concept of Excel which will help you in every single formula. And that is like freezing of a cell or freezing of a linked cell. So let's suppose if I press equals to sign and come down over here and select this cell William Brown. I press enter. Since I have linked this cell with the column number C, cell C8, if I but I have not fixed it. So if I copy it and then paste it in column H, it will not give me the name, but rather it has moved my link also. So instead of William Brown, it is giving me the sales. If I press F2 over here, it is showing me the link of cell D8 instead of C8, which was the original link. And if I copy it down, so now it is showing me the link of C9 instead of the original link of C8. This means my f formula is moving as soon as I am copy pasting it in different cells so in order to fix this I have one function I will press F2 again I will select this and will press F4 now you can see the dollar signs over here I will press enter and now I'm going to copy it down since my link was fixed now you can see in the new call new cell again the link is to the old one so the link has not moved if I copy it right anywhere, it will always be fixed. So we need to use this concept over here in our Excel for in VLOOKUP formula. What I have done over here is 
I have selected this whole table but for now I cannot move my formula over here or along the rows let's suppose instead of 1004 I have over uh, so let's suppose I have 1001 over here another ID and I want to copy this formula so I will copy it paste it over here paste it over here again now I have an error but what is the reason of this error? The reason is that I have not fixed my table. So what happened over here is when I copied the formula to the next cell, the selection of table also moved one cell down. And then when I selected it again, it moved another step down. And now that 101 ID is not anymore in this my selected formula. So what I'm going to do over here is I will just select this table, the reference of this table and press F4. Now this formula will not, this table, particular table will not move once I copy it to the different cells. So if I copy it down, it's showing in finance. If I copy it again down, it's showing again finance because now you can see 100, the, for, the selection of this table is not moving. So guys, this was our VLOOKUP formula. But what if like we are going to search for an ID which is not available in this table? So okay, let's search. We have over here till 1010. And let's suppose my next number over here which I want to search is 1012. So what I will do, I will just copy paste this formula. And the shortcut of doing this is just control D. You can copy paste it by control C and control V, or you can just press control D, it will copy paste the upper formula. But the problem is that 1012 is not available in this column B, this column. So it is showing me an A. Now what, what we can do to make it better is we can introduce another formula over here which is VLOOKUP. So I am just going to write VLOOKUP over if error behind this VLOOKUP over here. Or I can press F2 and go to the formula again and type it over here if error and press tab now this vlookup formula is inside this if error function and like if error is saying me to give the value like whatever formula you want to put you can put and and at the end give tell me what you want if there is an error in your formula so i will just press comma and then i if there is nothing over here i can just press zero over here that if it's an error in there is an error in a formula you can return me a value zero i will press enter now instead of any it is returning in zero or if you don't want zero since the above three departments were in like text field like they were characters not a numeric number so to put a character you can just open the inverted commas put not found and close the inverted commas now it will give you a not found instead of zero. Okay. Let's now discuss some limitations of this formula. And one of the limitation is that you can just see in this formula from left to right. Like since I have selected the table over here from column B, I can only see the name, department and salary of that particular ID but not the serial number. Uh, for example let me try over here i will copy it over here and i will put the vlookup formula again equals to vlookup and i will select now this time column a and b so oh sorry first what i will do is select the vlookup value the lookup value i want and then i will select the column a and b and we press f4 to fix it and then i will say that give me the value in column 1 so I will press 1 to get the serial number of this particular ID this I am not going to get because what this formula is doing it will always look this particular lookup value in the very first column and will try to search it over here and give the value of the column 1 but it cannot do it like search it in column 2 and give the value of column 1 so this is one of the limitations of VLOOKUP formula. 
but let's suppose if I do it press 5 over here now what it is doing is it is looking number 5 in this first column and returning me the value of number 5 uh, sorry returning me the value of this first column which is number 5 again and if I want to do it to see the ID of that serial number I will press 2 and I'm going to get the ID of serial number 5 okay and other limitation of this formula is if there is a repetition in your data let's suppose I have a repetition of 1002 ID over here I will put it and instead of Sophia I will just put the name of Alex and now I will try to bring the name of Alex against this ID so the ID is 1002 I will put equals to VLOOKUP com, I will select the lookup value comma I'm going to select the table I'm going to fix this table I will press comma and now I'm going to give I want to bring the name so the name is in the column 2 I'm going to press column 2 and I want to see the exact match so I pressed 0 I have closed this function and it has given me Sophia Khan so it will always give you the first row not and it will ignore the next one so I cannot bring Alex against this ID using this formula so it's better to keep a unique ID for every employee or whatever data you're maintaining they should be a unique ID or unique name to use this formula okay so now if you want to see how to overcome these limitations and how to use this formula in building dashboards budgets and financial modeling subscribe to our channel thank you